So while I'm very excited that the Rams went out and got the no-brainer move done with Daryl Henderson, I think some people are a little confused, and so I just want to clear the air because the Rams did go out and they signed Miles Gaskin off of the Vikings practice squad. There is a method to their madness here, and I'm going to get into it. Before I do, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. You can find me on socials at JK Bogan. So let's dive in. So what is the whole point of this? Why are they signing Miles Gaskin, who's 5'10 and a buck 94? Well, I'm going to explain it to you right now. Okay, Gaskin was drafted in the same draft as Daryl Henderson 2019. And this is somebody who was signed off the Vikings practice squad. So it's not like Daryl Henderson now has no chance of playing because he was signed to their practice squad. No, the only way the Rams were going to be able to acquire uh, the services of Miles Gaskin was to sign him off of the Vikings practice squad. Once he goes on the active 53 of the Vikings, then you can't sign him. But since he was on the practice squad, the Rams move him over to their active 53. They also added Royce Freeman to their active 53 uh, from the practice squad to make room for Henderson. This is old school trial by fire. And what I mean by that is when you have somebody that you're confident in and you, you love and Kyron Williams go down, you have your number two guy and Ronnie Rivers go down for the foreseeable future. Now you have a decision to make. But here's the thing. When you have Royce Freeman, who's a solid backup and a sixth round rookie who has ball security issues and can't pass protect, albeit very a lot of potential there. And I like him long term. This is what you do. This is trial by fire. It's not to say they're not going to play on Sunday. They know the offense more than the two newcomers. But here's the thing. Going out and getting Miles Gaskin from Kevin O'Connell's offense, uh, you know, having him know the playbook there. Kevin O'Connell's offense has a lot of connections to what Sean McVay is doing. Okay. So that's the first thing. There's a great fit. Second thing is same with Henderson, the great fit with the Rams. Now you have these guys, all four can be active on Sunday. There's no rule against four running backs getting carries on Sunday. So what I mean by trial by fire, well, you have all four compete. You take the best two, those two split carries, or you don't have to. And you just roll with a committee backfield. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. All four of them offer something different than the other four, uh, the, the other. And so the reason I say that is because now the Steelers, who are the 29th ranked run defense, they have to come in and they don't know who they're going up against. It could be Daryl Henderson. It could be Royce Freeman. It could be Zach Evans. And it also could be Miles Gaskin. If you want the most explosive back of the four, it's Zach Evans. If you want the most elusive, and I would say probably the best pass catcher of the four, it's Miles Gaskin. If you want the most well-rounded running back of the four and best pure runner and pass protector, Daryl Henderson. And if you want the best short yardage runner, potentially Royce Freeman, although Daryl Henderson would have a run there. So here's the thing, okay? All four of them offer something. The Rams don't have to play them in any sort of order. And this is where now you win, okay? You go out there, you win your jobs. Stick around. Because if you play well enough, hey, even when Kyron comes back, you could have a role. Hey, even when Ronnie Rivers comes back, you can stay on this team. So it's a trial by fire. That's what they're doing. To add more to it, uh, Miles Gaskin, seventh rounder out of Washington 2019, 701 receiving yards and 101 receptions, six receiving touchdowns, is 1,355 rushing yards on 361 carries, seven rushing touchdowns, four fumbles, 890 yards after contact, 61 missed tackles forced, and he ran zone scheme runs 172 uh, to 174 gap scheme runs. So based on that, he makes the most sense for the gap scheme. Now, I don't think Gaskin is a great runner. I think he is a good uh, scat back that can be used in, in the receiving game where I think Zach Evans could be better in, where I think Royce Freeman could be better in. Personally, I think this might make a lot of sense to just have all four go at it and ride the hot hand. And that's what I think they're going to do. But this is trial by fire, no doubt about it. This is an old school way of, you know what, we don't have our guy. Let's see if we could find our guy, at least in the, the short term, before our guy comes back in Kyron Williams. Now, I will say, Daryl Henderson has a little bit of a head start. <clears throat> if you want to say that uh, Freeman has a head start and Zach Evans have a head start for knowing the offense, you're absolutely right. But Daryl Henderson has the trust factor. 
And clearly it's still there if Sean McVay and company just brought him back. So Sean McVay trusted him in the Super Bowl to make some big plays. Sean McVay trusted him as the starter for a while. Uh, Sean McVay has seen him go over 100 yards, has seen him had multi-touchdown games, has seen him work in pass pro, over 100 snaps, not one, uh, you know, only one sack allowed in those 101 snaps. Look, I, I just think at the end of the day, when you see this running back room, this is exactly how the Rams should be doing it. I like the Gaskin pickup. I had a lot of people asking me, So now that Henderson gets signed and then they sign Gaskin, don't you feel like, you know, your party was short lived? No, they can all thrive together. And that's a real thing. Now you have to be cognizant of the fact if you're trying to run the ball this Sunday and you're trying to keep these guys in a rhythm by taking these guys out, you know, left and right, it's going to take that rhythm out of the equation. And Daryl Henderson is going to be a problem if he gets into a rhythm in this game. Miles Gaskin. He could get, you know, a little a little batch of the carries, but I think he's utilized better as, you know, a receiving back. And it'd be cool if they'd use some split back formations, have two backs on the field where you have one in the slot, maybe in Gaskin, one in the backfield in Hendo. Personally, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I think Henderson and Gaskin are not just better, but I think they're a lot better than Royce Freeman and Zach Evans. Royce Freeman and Zach Evans might get more workload because they know the offense but I'm even going to go a step further. I don't think they do. I think by them going out and getting these guys, it was them pretty much showing their lack of confidence in these two guys. I think Royce Freeman, you know, good backup again. Evans is not ready to take on a lead back role. And that's what we saw today. Uh, Actions speak louder than words. The Rams did not wait until Wednesday. Like Sean McVay said, they'd have more information on Wednesday. They went out immediately and they went out and got Daryl Henderson, and they went out and got Miles Gaskin off of the Vikings practice squad. Gaskin obviously spent a lot of time with Miami, but I think the real fun thing here is that he comes from the Kevin O'Connell offense. And uh, once again, the Vikings and Rams have been connected this year with running backs. They trade Cam Akers to the Vikings, and now they uh, take or they pluck, uh, excuse me, uh, Miles Gaskin off of the Vikings practice squad. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Personally, uh, I like it. Um, I have no issue with it. I think let the best running back win. But at the end of the day, whatever makes your football team better, I've been clamoring for them to make some moves. And I like that they did this. And I'll get into another video uh, a little bit later because the Cardinals actually just got rid of, or I don't know if they waived him. I believe they did because he hasn't been in the league long enough. Last year's third round pick in... Majai Sanders I don't know how you let him go would love him on the Rams but anyway that's gonna do it so hope you guys enjoyed it um I'm feeling good about this team you know I think they're gonna run the ball a little bit I think this is really saying they're not trying to abandon the run this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers this is very much a game plan and instead of waiting until Wednesday you get those guys in a quick day um obviously Gaskin might be a little bit more behind Henderson. He might get there after practice today, be ready for Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. Um, But I think Henderson ready to go, get him in as soon as possible. And you already know that he can work in this offense or, you know, an offense similar, but yeah, that's going to do it. Be sure to follow on socials at JK Bogan. Be sure to, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you like the channel, Uh, drop a like, if you're excited about this news or any of the news I just dropped, and drop a comment. Again, really curious what your thoughts are. And furthermore, if you are a Rams fan or just an NFL fan in general and want to talk 24-7 about your team, I have a Discord channel that's now at 800. We just hit 800 members. So come be a part of that. I use the Discord to buffer my call-ins every single JE Live that I do. It comes right through Discord. So if you want to get in on that, definitely uh, hit that link in the description. But again, I'll see you guys soon. Later, folks.